Self-care is the name of the game. The better we can take care of ourselves, the more resilient we are. And since your physical self is 99.9% .9 water molecules, water has a huge role to play in our self-care practices. So today we're going to explore the roles that water plays in our beauty and hygiene, both internally and externally. And please share your favorite self-care techniques in the comments below. We'll start with the foundation of your beauty routine, the water that you shower and bathe in. And I'll share some effective solutions to make your shower and bath time extra nourishing. And then we'll get into the fun stuff, juicy nourishing beautification and self-care practices like hydrotherapy, red light therapy, infoceutical beauty remedies, double helix skincare and lymphatic drainage. And we'll finish up with general hydration tips for glowing skin and hair. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can use the timestamps to navigate. And you can find links to the studies cited in the references at the blog associated with this video. Bathing and showering. Let's start with your daily drench. Nothing is more relaxing and refreshing than a deliciously steamy bath or shower after a long day, right? But is your shower really cleansing the way that you think it is? Let's take a look at your hair first. If your hair has been looking dull or dry lately, the problem may not be with your strands themselves, but with the water that you're showering in. Though it's often overlooked, hard water, meaning water with a lot of dissolved minerals like calcium, magnesium, metallic ions, etc., can have a significant impact on the look and feel of your skin and hair, affecting everything from moisture content to overall manageability. It can also prevent soap from lathering well. So. If your water is hard, then you end up using more soap or shampoo just to raise a lather, which means you may be going through more products than is actually necessary. The toughest issue facing those with hard water is the buildup that it can leave behind on both your hair and your scalp. And this buildup can not only weigh your hair down, leaving it flat and lifeless, but it can also make it more brittle, leading to more damage and, depending on your hair type, even more frizz. It erodes the hair elasticity and leaves the hair very rough as it lifts the cuticle. Hard water is also notorious for interfering with hair color, dulling, fading, and sometimes even discoloring it. One study published in the International Journal of Trichology found that people who used hard water to wash their hair had decreased hair strength, resulting in more breakage and untamable frizzy flyaways. And another study from the International Journal of Dermatology found that hair treated in hard water had more mineral deposits and decreased thickness. According to trichologist Ricardo Villanova, hard water can irritate even the oiliest of scalps. Even if you think you have really fine hair that has to be washed daily to avoid it looking greasy, the hard water can dry your scalp out to the point where it becomes dehydrated and oily. And likewise, if your scalp is already on the slightly dry side, hard water can push it over the edge into flaky territory. Stay tuned or navigate to the solutions section of the video to discover my top recommendations for solving the hard water problem. Now let's look at your skin. Not only is your hair affected by water hardness, but of course your skin is too. A study published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology found that using hard water on the skin increased sulfate deposits. And this can cause further irritation and dryness. It can also cause or exacerbate sensitive skin. You may find that you end up needing to use a lot more creams and oils just to keep your skin as silky as you like it. As dermatologist Dr. Sam Bunting described, minerals being left to dry on the skin may clog pores and cause dryness, triggering breakouts, flaking, and itching. Plus, when water contains high amounts of calcium, it doesn't properly dissolve soap, meaning that there can be some residue left on the skin. It can also contribute to sensitive, irritable, and blemish-prone skin. This all makes sense when you take into consideration that incidences of eczema and psoriasis are both far more common in hard water areas. Solutions To check your water's TDS, or total dissolved solids, and see if it's soft or hard, you can send a sample to be tested or buy an at-home test or water hardness test called a TDS meter, and you can find both options in the water tests collection at waterislife.shop. Actually, the solution is really simple. The best way to soften a hard water is simply to structure it. Although this doesn't physically remove the minerals from the water, it changes their shape and renders them inert, creating a softer texture to your water. One of the most common things that people notice after installing a shower water structure or a whole home water structure is softer, more supple skin and more luxurious hair. And Natural Action has actually just released a brand new upgraded version of their shower structure that beautifully softens and enlivens the water that you bathe in. You can find it in the shower collection at waterislife.shop or at naturalaction.com and use the coupon code waterislife-10 for a discount. Tap liquid. Now let's address tap water. 
However well-intentioned our self-care routine, if we're pampering ourselves in poisonous water, then our self-care is toxic. After all, our skin is one of our largest organs and plays an integral role in keeping us healthy. A study published in the American Journal of Public Health showed that the skin absorbs about 64% of total contaminants in tap water. Other studies have found that your face is several times more permeable than broader areas of your body. But get this, your underarms and genitals absorb 100% of contaminants in water. Clearly, what we bathe in ends up inside our bodies. In 1997, the EPA concluded that a person can absorb more contaminants from bathing and showering than from drinking polluted water. In one study, the highest levels of THMs were found in the blood samples from people who took 10 minute showers, whereas the lowest levels were found in the blood samples from people who drank a liter of water in 10 minutes. Now let that sink in. Believe it or not, a study published by British researchers showed that toxins like fluorides can be stored on the skin and released over a period of time. My friend, this matters. The symptoms of too much fluoride exposure are pretty well known. They include learning disorders, as Harvard researchers recently uncovered, heart issues, depression, nausea, joint issues, headaches, thyroid issues, hormonal imbalances, weight gain, and much, much more. Once again, studies indicate you may be absorbing more of these toxins by bathing than you would even by drinking them through the digestive tract. So if you've sorted your drinking water setup, but you have yet to address bath time, it's past time to up-level your shower game, please. While we all love a good, long, hot, steamy shower or a luxurious soak in the tub, the reality of the situation is that we're exposing ourselves to high levels of toxic industrial fluoride, chlorine, and other chemicals from our tap water as we're doing it. And the more time we leave the shower head running, the more time these chemicals have to interact with each other, creating new toxicodynamic reactions, many of which haven't even been studied because these chemicals aren't just affecting us in isolation. When they swim around in the water together, they meet and mate and create new byproducts called DBPs or disinfection byproducts and CBPs or chlorination byproducts, basically the bastard offspring of the noxious chemical orgy happening in your tap. And THMs or trihalomethanes like chlorine have a unique chemical reaction that happens only when they vaporize into steam. Namely, they turn into chloroform gas. So if you're taking a hot steamy shower in tap water, you're breathing in trace amounts of chloroform. ScienceNews.org reported that researchers found increases in chloroform in study participants' lungs of about 2.7 parts per billion after a 10 minute shower. Considering the trifecta of warm water opening your pores, skin absorption, and lung inhalation, a 10 minute shower infuses the body with more of these toxins than drinking eight glasses of the same water. And it's especially important for pregnant women to consider, as there's some evidence that CBPs may affect fetal growth. A study conducted by a team in Russia determined that women who drank or took showers in water laced with chlorine and chloramine contamination experienced higher rates of various complications with the pregnancy, including spontaneous abortions, stillbirth, low birth weight, premature delivery, and a spectrum of birth defects ranging from nerve damage to weak hearts. For children, a hot bath or shower with unfiltered, unstructured municipal water can pose a risk to their developing respiratory system as well. In Belgium, a study concluded that children who frequently breathe chlorine vapors, such as those in swimming pools and hot showers and baths, had an increased risk of developing juvenile asthma. Your own spa. Believe me, I know that all of this data can sound really overwhelming and frankly alarming. And we've reached the end of that zone of the video, don't worry. But the adage holds true, there is something in the water. Now, I'm not just telling you this to stress you out, just the opposite, in fact. I want your bath and shower time to be a healing sanctuary that it should be. It should be an oasis, a respite from the concerns of the world, a place where you can come and receive a cleansing baptism from living, structured water that resets and refreshes you physically, mentally, and emotionally. I want your self-care time to feel just like going to the spa. In fact, the word spa is an abbreviation for the Latin salus per aqua, which means health through water. Water is innately healing when it's free of abominations. So let's bring salus per aqua, health through water, back to your own bath and shower. Self-care goes beyond just a clay mask and a jade egg. It has to include the fundamental foundation of not accidentally poisoning ourselves. After all, true beauty can't come from any 12-step skincare routine if it doesn't first come primarily from our inner radiant health and our health is a direct measure of our hydration. So please invest in a good quality shower water structure or whole home water structure. 
through structuring the water is made healthy by molecularly neutralizing toxins. Technically, the chemical is still there, although the amount may be reduced, but it can't interact with your biology in the same way as the structuring process changes the oxidation states of any chemicals present. Because we are vibrational beings, far more so than we are biochemical beings, if the water no longer holds the vibrational frequency of the toxin and the toxin's oxidation state has changed, it can't have the same consequences for our health. Health is a vibrational state. After all, you could physically filter out a chemical, but as we can see from the study of homeopathic medicine, the water would still hold the memory of that toxin unless the water's structural matrix has been renewed. So structuring the water resets its vibration, its memory, and its physiological effects. As Gary Greenfield has said, polluted waters can be brought back to their natural pristine state without physical filtration using only vortex action and information transfer via natural EMF emitted by the elements of the earth. Up until now, these principles have not been acknowledged by modern science, but with time, I'm confident that will change. However, if you prefer to add the extra safeguard of physical and chemical filtration too, check out the ultimate dual KDF filter in the shower collection at waterslife.shop. Most shower filters cannot remove THMs and chloramines, and that's why this one really stands out to me. Then you can use the structurer in addition to remove the frequency and the memory of the toxins, even after the filter has removed their physical presence. Self-care practices. Now let's get into the fun part. There are so many other ways that we can use water for self-care and beautification after the foundational bathing, showering, and washing. Once that's done, we can move on to some more nourishing techniques. So let's start with hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy uses temperature variations of water to direct healing to the body. You're already familiar with many forms of hydrotherapy, baths, saunas, hot towels, ice baths, etc. All of these are ubiquitous. Immersion hydrotherapy is also common in burn units. Other forms of hydrotherapy that are common but may not be well recognized include wet wraps, warming socks, naping therapy, colonics and douches and sitz baths. There are also more rare and ancient forms of hydrotherapy that require special instruments, but many of them have fallen out of practice in the past hundred years or so since allopathy has effectively replaced all formerly common water healing methods like balneology, homeopathy, and hydrotherapy, etc. In fact, hydrotherapy may actually be the oldest form of healing known to mankind, since our primordial ancestors first stumbled upon and recognized the refreshing and healing effects of jumping in a cold river or a hot spring. It's been used throughout the millennia for everything from wound healing to mental health to weight loss to pain and inflammation to nervous system disorders to the common cold and everything in between. The trick with hydrotherapy is knowing how to administer water in a specific way for your particular goal. So if your goal is radiant skin, it has several solutions for you. Recent research has shown that hydrotherapy helps maintain skin integrity and skin hydration while reducing water loss in the skin. And a hydrotherapy clinic in France recently conducted an eight year, 6,000 participant observational study using hydrotherapy for eczema. After just 18 days, hydrotherapy reduced eczema by 42%, but you don't have to have eczema to get the benefits. It can also reduce redness, even skin tone, treat under eye bags, soothe sunburns and reduce puffiness. For a quick and easy hydrotherapy facial technique that you can use at home, just head over to the blog associated with this video where I lay out the simple steps for a spa quality hydrotherapy facial right at home. Again, it's best to use clean structured water for this because remember, the skin of your face is several times more permeable to toxins than broader skin surfaces on your body. And for all the tools that you'll need for an effective at-home hydrotherapy treatment, head over to the hydrotherapy collection on waterislife.shop. The next beauty trick doesn't involve external water at all. Instead, it directly targets your bio water, your intracellular fluid, making it more structured and more crystalline. After all, supple skin starts with collagen, and collagen is mostly highly structured water with some proteins. The more structured your collagen water is, the younger and healthier the collagen stays. I'm talking about infrared light therapy. According to Dr. Gerald Pollack's research, structured water forms when you expose water to infrared light. When water molecules absorb infrared light, they begin to vibrate. And because water molecules have such strong bonds to one another, that vibrational energy transfers from one molecule to another, much like a ripple across a pond. 
as the water molecules move closer together to stabilize themselves, they become denser and more viscous and they store energy in the form of a negative charge. It's like a charged battery carrying valuable vibrational energy through your whole body. This especially helps with collagen and tissue healing and repair and prevents fine lines and wrinkles in the skin. When this water is formed, it creates a structure of water that excludes impurities like reactive oxygen species and free radicals that can worsen inflammation and the signs of aging on your face. So red light therapy facials are a super hydrating self-care practice that you can add to your beauty routine. And you can find my favorite collagen structuring red light therapy devices under the red light collection of waterislife.shop. The next hydrating beauty hack is one that you've probably already heard of. It's become pretty trendy over the past few years because it's so effective. I personally use it every night. But most people don't realize that it actually works by addressing one of the biggest waterways in our body, which is the lymphatic fluid. You actually have three times more lymphatic fluid than blood in your body. And oftentimes this lymph can stagnate in the face, causing us to appear bloated and puffy. Over time, if the lymph doesn't circulate as it should, it can cause a buildup of toxins underneath the skin, leading to inflammation, breakouts, puffiness, etc. So I recommend using gua sha and facial cupping for lymphatic flow. This is an easy and super enjoyable practice that you can add to your daily routine. And if you want the full body benefits of lymphatic drainage, you can use a dry brush to stimulate the flow before your shower. Again, you can head over to the blog associated with this article for a deeper explanation of exactly how to use these techniques in your beauty routine. And you'll find the tools for them in the lymphatic fluid collection on waterslife.shop. Another technique I really love is creating infoceutical beauty remedies. This practice turns your water into a resonating chamber of specific vibration. In other words, it will carry the structure, resonance, and information contained in whatever vibrational field you expose it to. Every morning I like to drink a hydrating beauty elixir infused with a vibrational field resonance of beautifying supplements like collagen peptides, immortal pearl oyster extract, schizandra, DHA, rose, vitamin C, and GHK copper peptides. It's a kind of beauty biohacking stack of skincare. You can find InfoCeutical devices in the Energizers collection of waterslife.shop. And finally, two of my favorite water-based skincare products, the Double Helix Water Skincare Line and Proteum Water Mist. The Double Helix Skincare Line was formulated with a unique, ultra-pure type of water containing concentrated, stable water clusters formed at a microscopic level. It's a relatively new discovery in the field of water and health that prevents inflammation, among other benefits. It's been studied for over 25 years and is the subject matter of 36 published research articles, and it actually helps increase the cellular voltage of your skin cells. And the Proteum Facial Mist is enriched with a special isotope of hydrogen called Proteum, which Nobel laureate Dr. Albert St. Georgi referred to as the fuel of life. It's invigorating and helps your skin cells to produce more ATP in the mitochondria, which means overall more energy and lifespan in your cells, keeping you looking young and feeling fresh. There are so many more ways to work with water for beauty and self-care practices, ranging from the practical to the ritualistic, and I couldn't possibly list them all here. So drop me a comment if you'd like for me to create a full webinar or even a full e-course specifically on this topic of water and hydration for beauty, skincare, and self-care practices. Hydration. Now I've saved the best for last. The effect of internal hydration on hair, skin, and overall radiance because feeling and looking good is really an inside job, first and foremost. Our self-care isn't limited to just what we do, it's also what we drink and what we become, what we are at a cellular level. Thanks to the dehydrating effects of the modern lifestyle, we all experience cellular water loss. In fact, Dr. Ishihara Yumi and others have said that aging is really just a process of drying out. And because your skin is 63% water, age-related dehydration becomes visible as lines, wrinkles, less elasticity, and dullness. And the simplest example is the difference between a prune and a plum between an elder and a baby. The baby and the plum are both plump, hydrated, round, and vital. And as that hydration fades, deep lines and creases form in both the prune and the face of an older person. They're both the same fruit, the difference is their water content. Let's look at your skin. It's common sense that hydration brightens your skin and studies have borne this out again and again as well. One study showed that hydration specifically increases stratum corneum and deep skin hydration, reduces clinical signs of dryness and roughness, and the extensibility and elasticity of the skin is increased. And associations were shown between water intake and transepidermal water loss, sebum content, and skin surface pH. 
According to Dr. Howard Murad, the science of intracellular water has revealed that the ultimate key to youth building is the ability of each cell membrane to hold structured water. So it's important to not only drink bioavailable structured water, but also to hydrate with nutrients that contain cell fortifying ingredients. Multivitamins, lecithin, fatty acids, and supplements like glucosamine help keep your cell membranes strong enough to retain water. As Dr. Murad has said, as your intracellular water increases, by definition, you're healthier, younger, less stressed, and more energetic. A 2007 study in the International Journal of Cosmetic Science took an in-depth look at the effects of long-term water intake on skin health. And the study found that drinking two and a quarter liters of water every day for four weeks altered skin density and thickness. A second study from the University of Missouri Columbia showed that drinking more water also increases blood flow to the skin. As dermatologist Dr. Steven Deliduca said, I found that water can have a significant impact on skin health. Without adequate water intake, skin appears duller and wrinkles and pores are more prominent. Proper hydration levels help the skin to become more plump and improve its elasticity, meaning it's less likely to crack and have irritations and blemishes. Remember, your body's ability to absorb the water you drink is proportional to its structure and mineral content. So invest in a high quality water structure and electrolyte, like the revitalizers from Natural Action and Minbiotics. You can use the code waterslife-10 to get 10% off of those and find them at waterslife.shop. Now let's look at your hair. So your hair tells a similar story. Water makes up one quarter of the hair strand and hair follicles actually require adequate amounts of water in order to grow new hair. In fact, although short-term dehydration won't harm your hair very much, chronic dehydration can cause hair loss and bald spots. Your body considers the integumentary system, your hair, skin, and nails to be non-essential. So when you don't drink enough water, your body reroutes any much needed water to more vital organs. Since your hair follicles lack water, they'll stop producing new hair. If you're chronically dehydrated, which most people are, then your hair follicles just have a harder time growing enough hair to replace the strands that are shed naturally, resulting in hair thinning over time. Drinking good water also helps prevent split ends and brittle hair, and is also crucial for regulating the circulatory system, which of course provides important nutrients to your hair follicles and helps with hair growth. Water also stimulates the nerve endings in the hair roots, which increases the natural vitality of your hair. And if you're drinking a good high quality mineral spring water or supplementing with an electrolyte like Minbiotics, it'll contain the minerals that are needed for maintaining healthy hair, like iron, zinc, copper, and calcium. Copper can affect the pigmentation of your hair and its deficiency can cause hair abnormalities. Calcium keeps your hair healthy and shiny, and a deficiency in iron is known to cause hair loss and telogen effluvium, or temporary hair loss. Zinc is another trace element that affects hair growth. Studies have shown that zinc deficiency causes hair loss and its supplementation can stimulate hair growth. It also affects cell proliferation and the size of sebaceous glands, which are very important for hair growth. Keeping your scalp hydrated can also relieve the itching that comes with dandruff and potentially relieve the dandruff itself. If your dandruff is caused by a dry scalp, then obviously getting hydrated is going to help. So ranging throughout the entire integumentary system, your hair, your skin, your nails, hydration is the foundation of your beauty routine. Not just drinking more water, but living structured bioavailable high energy water. To put it simply, the size of the molecular groupings is what differs. The smaller the groupings, the more bioavailable the water is, and the more easy it is to pass through the cell walls to transport nutrients and remove wastes and work all of its biological magic. Newborn babies have 100% structured body water, but by age 50, most people have less than 50% structured bio water. As Dr. Zach Bush has said, if we could stay perfectly hydrated in the intracellular environment, our aging would slow down if not reverse. This is the fountain of youth. Truly, it is the secret to health, beauty, youth, and longevity. So to learn more about how to get truly, deeply, intracellularly hydrated, check out my e-courses over at waterislife.teachable.com. They'll teach you how to bring your drinking water back to life and how to make sure your body is actually absorbing every single drop because it's not about how much you drink, it's about how much you've absorbed. If you've enjoyed this, comment below what was your biggest aha moment or your most insightful takeaway. Please also share this on Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, or your favorite social channels. Give the video a like and a thumbs up, subscribe on YouTube and to the newsletter. And of course, be well and stay hydrated.